welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 3.8 and the statement of it is find the probability distribution of the random variable w in exercise 3.3 which i have also given here assuming that the coin is biased so that a head is twice as likely to occur as a tail okay so let me first write the given data which has been mentioned here so given data is the probability of heads is twice likely than that of tail so therefore i have to make three slices of the total probability and it the three out of these three slices or the three parts two will be given to the heads and only one would be to the tail okay so that would be one by three such that two by three plus one by three will be equal to one okay which is basically the primary rule of the probability so first of all i have written it here and this is the given data apart from it let me recall the question 3.3 in which the w is a random variable giving the number of heads minus the number of tails in three tosses of a coin okay so we have three tosses of a coin so let me write here the event first let me use another color here and this is here so let me use here the event okay. in this event the number of heads the number of tails and the w okay what is w this would be heads minus tail okay so now after it let me slice them here okay. will be like this one and after it i have solved it previously but let me solve it again so list the elements of the sample space as for the three tosses of the coin and to each sample point assign a value omega of w okay so what is the first time uh, first event first event let me have here is heads 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 so number of heads here are three number of tails is zero and h minus t which is w is three okay similarly heads heads tail we have two heads one tail okay so two minus one is one similarly heads tail heads here we have again two heads one tail so two minus one is one again similarly heads tail tail so now i have one heads okay two tails so one minus two is minus one which is this w okay similarly now tail adds adds okay so now we have two heads one tail so two minus one is one again so let me make it more okay. so tail adds tail so again i have one head two tails so one minus two is minus one okay and now tail tail heads so again one heads two tails so one minus two is minus one okay and the last one here is we have tail 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 so here we have zero heads and three tails so zero minus three is minus three Okay. so these are the events and with respect to those events these are the events and respect to those events we have the value of w which is given here so now in order to do so the sample space for this is the number of heads minus number of tails so it would be what it would be minus three minus one one and three okay so these are all the values which we have for the w in the event where a coin is tossed three times okay so this is what the values of all these things so now in order to find the probability of these events what do we have to do we have to find the probability of w equal to minus three okay so in this event what would happen in this event what are the um, events which has been occurred here so this is this one okay this is the event where i have to find out the probability of tail 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 
Okay. So this is what this is the event which we have and this is what how many items do we have here of minus three there is only one item here and similarly we can as the three events are basically independent of each other so therefore i can write here probability of t multiplied by the probability of t multiplied by the probability of t as well okay so i know the probability of t which is given here so let me write it here so i have to write here 1 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 3 so it would be 1 over 27 okay so this is for w equal to minus 3 okay so this is for the first event now let me write it for the second one which is probability of the w equal to minus one okay so what are those events in which w is equal to minus one these events are basically this one this one and this one okay so let me write their value so this one this one and this one so let me write them here so i have to find the probability of the uh, heads tail tail okay similarly the probability of tail heads tail okay and the last one here is probability of tail tail heads okay so you can see that in all of these three events we have two tails while one heads okay so let me move down somehow okay. so we can see here that here we have these events and we can also write them here either i will have the event of heads tail tail or i will have the event this one which will give me minus one and wherever in probability i will get this or i have to add them okay so similarly probability of tail adds tail i have to make them here as well okay and or i can have here probability of tail tail adds okay? so this will be the third event I know their values so let me write them probability of heads multiplied by the probability of tail multiplied by the probability of tail here as well similarly plus probability of the tail probability of heads and probability of tail okay or the probability of the tail probability of tail and probability of heads we have these events and i can basically identify them here as well this one is for this one this one is for this one and this one is for this one so let me put their values because the probability of heads we have previously seen that the probability of heads is how much that is here 2 by 3 and the probability of tails is 1 by 3 so let me write them here as well so writing them here probability of heads will be 2 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 3 plus probability of tail is 1 by 3 multiplied by probability of heads which is 2 by 3 and multiplied by 1 by 3 and this one probability of tail is 1 by 3 multiplied by probability of tail which is 1 by 3 and the last one is probability of head which is 2 by 3 so let me calculate them this would be 27 so 2 by 27 plus 2 by 27 plus 2 by 27 so ultimately what we will get we will get 6 by 27 which is also 2 by 9 okay so uh, the probability of w equal to minus 1 is how much that is 
2 by 9 okay so now let's move on and uh, the probability of w equal to 1 now let me find the probability of the w equal to 1 which is the event here this one okay so what are the events which have given me the probability w equal to 1 so this is this one this one and this one as well so let me write them here so let me uh, write them here or start them here so the probability of w equal to 1 so it would be the probability of the events which are head head tail heads heads tail or heads tail heads heads tail heads and the third one is tail heads heads tail heads heads okay. so we can see here that in all of these events we have what we have two heads and one tail okay so now writing them in the similar manner as we have done it for the w equal to minus one so what would we get here we will have adds adds tail or probability of adds tail adds okay or the probability of tail adds adds okay so these are the events which we have now separating them out let me start it here and let me move down somehow okay so it would be the probability of heads probability of heads multiplied by the probability of tail okay or the probability of heads probability of tail and probability of heads okay and the last one is probability of tail probability of heads and the probability of heads as well so let me mention them here as well so this one here okay these three are for this one for this one we have these three okay and for it i have this one so again let me put the values of the probabilities so the probability of heads is 2 by 3 similarly 2 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 3 for the probability of tail similarly probability of heads 2 by 3 this is 1 by 3 and here 2 by 3 okay here we have 1 by 3 multiplied by 2 by 3 multiplied by 2 by 3 here as well so let me calculate them and here we would get 27 so 4 by 27 plus 4 by 27 plus 4 by 27 so ultimately i will get here 12 by 27 which is how much we will have here 4 by 9 yes so 3 4 12 3 9 27 so this is for what this is for the probability that had this sorry w is one okay. so the last one here is to find the probability that w is three okay and this is the only one where we had three heads okay so heads add adds and you can also see that in this uh, table we have seen that this is the only one where the probability of it is three okay so now in order to do so i am going to solve it so solving it by using the same procedure as we have only one event here so it would be the probability of heads as the three events are independent of each other so i am multiplying them together probability of heads and the probability of heads 
okay so as their probabilities are already given so it would be 2 by 3 multiplied by 2 by 3 multiplied by 2 by 3 so we will have here 8 divided by 27 okay so this is what this is the given probability for is equal to 3 okay so on the basis of it we have calculated some probabilities so let me write them here okay so let me write them here and here uh, let me use here the probability the values of w and the corresponding values of the w okay so we have the values of w we start from minus 3 then minus 1 then 1 and then 3 okay we have also calculated their probabilities as well so let me write them here the probability of minus 3 how much is this let me see probability of minus 3 and uh, this one this one was 1 by 27 okay so 1 by 27 the probability of minus 1 how much is this so this was 6 by 20 let me write 6 by 27 so ultimately i will show you that the addition of all of them is equal to uh, 1 so let me write 6 by 27 so 6 divided by 27 probability of w e equal to 1 so it would be 12 divided by 27 okay and the probability of w equal to 3 that is 8 divided by 27 okay so now adding them all together 1 by 27 6 by 27 12 by 27 and 8 by 27 you will see that all of them basically gives me what they gives me one so this is the basic condition for the probability distribution which we have okay so that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of question 3.8 uh, which was related to question 3.3 which we have previously seen so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box till then take care of yourself and i will see you soon